Hi folks, we're in the countryside here and uh, oh it's absolutely beautiful isn't it brother? It is indeed, it's lovely. Hallelujah. Brother Mike, uh, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. <laughs> Would you like me to tell you where we're at today? Go on bro, where are we? We're actually in Edale in the Peak District. Edale is near Castleton, halfway between Buxton. Um, it's a beautiful part of the countryside and it's a real quiet place to just chill out and get solitude. Oh, it's amazing mate. I um, feel so relaxed. There's, there's a few walks around here. There's an, there's an old World War II plane somewhere over there. I can't tell exactly where it is, but I know there is a wreck there that you can go and see. It's it got uh, the Germans crashed or something during the war. Uh, yeah, so it's good to just get some peace and relaxation. And, have a break, you know. Amen. So, do you want to? What have we been talking about in the car, bro? Any thoughts about what we've been chatting? Yeah, we've been talking about um, Jesus, about hyperstatic union. We've been talking about questions that have been asked about Jesus, tough questions that need um, deliberate thought and action, uh, deliberate thought on them. So, we've been talking about that uh, mission, the ministry ideas we've got moving it forward yeah do you want to just unpack just just a little bit about the hypostatic union and about this issue about did jesus know the the hour or the day and what we're talking about and the canotic theory and then if you could do that and then talk about what we're talking about the future of uh, royal blood ministries and stuff yeah the uh, hypostatic union is the fact is the belief that jesus is both god and man so it's the union of those two natures merging together in one. Um, the kinetic theory is the fact that Jesus limited himself and that he's limited in some way, but that's not entirely true because, yes, he humbled himself, but he didn't limit himself. He didn't limit his divinity or his knowledge. He just humbled himself, basically. Um, the fact that he didn't know the hour of the day was a demonstration that he was obedient to the Father. He was following the Father's will. That day is to be announced by the Father. It doesn't limit his knowledge or anything like that it doesn't diminish it or make it null yeah. or void or anything yeah and we, 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 we were thinking about the difference between functional and his essence like functionally he subjected himself to the father and yeah. so it was the father's prerogative to announce the day and the hour but in his essence Jesus was very God 100% God so he couldn't be limited in his knowledge and we noticed or we thought about that there are some theologians well there's quite a lot are actually imbibed the kenotic theory uh, that Jesus was limited in his knowledge as a as God, which is heretical. So he's uh, talking from his position as a man. It doesn't mean he doesn't know all things. But the Bible says that he knows all things. But this particular time, the return of Christ, is a thing ordained in heaven by the Father, and the the Son was following the Father's will. But that knowledge was not veiled during the incarnation. It doesn't diminish any part of who he is or his essence or anything. Amen. 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 So, we're talking about Royal Blood Ministries today. And um, we were just strategizing about the future, about where we're going and what we're doing. But can you just share, have you seen fruit in the ministry that we've been doing over the last year and a half? Yes, I have. We, we, we've had good conversations where people have come to, to the Lord and we've had new people join us uh, for example George joined us Australian guy um, we've evangelised at Hyde Park and in Manchester we've had great conversations and we've built bridges with people and more people have been influenced by what they've seen people are encouraged they want to go to church they want to know more about the Christian faith so yeah, yeah uh, the work that we do in God is behind it um, we're going to continue doing so um, to bear more fruit um, fruit necessarily is not always straight away because we've got things to take time yeah, you know yeah. it's not God does everything in perfect timing as well so. and uh, this week uh, with Frank the last two weeks with Frank coming that's been really good um, we were out every day and we sold I'll tell you what Mike we sold thousands of people got literature and a lot of seed was sown and one lady, uh, what, well, one person was listening to us, and um, 
one day and then the next day they came and said you were saying making sense and they wanted a bible and they took a bible yeah. the next day and uh, so many people were taught to and there'll be fruit from that mm. uh, so you know we thank Frank and Kadeen and, and little Joshua coming over and just uh, getting stuck in and uh, the inspiration that they've been so uh, any last thoughts to the viewers bro uh, this is a lovely lovely countryside look at that beautiful countryside it's absolutely beautiful here uh, this is uh, God's creation it's beautiful it's amazing you know we, I want to say one thing about atheist or evolutionist there's no evolutionist or atheist can explain the beauty of this creation there's no way that this just happened there's something behind it that, yeah. that thing is God it's Jesus Christ who created all things all things were created through him for him and by him so all this is the handiwork of God and we should be thankful for it and you know, not listen to these silly theories about evolution or whatever, or the Big Bang or whatever. Hey, man. This is hey, the man. work of a creator who's got a, a brilliant mind. A brilliant mind. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. God bless you, brother. Amen. Uh, check out Royal Blood Ministries and uh, website, Facebook, Twitter. God bless you, folks. God bless.